and some of the old passions endure. There still are men for whom the sweetest of sounds, the voices of foxhounds coursing across the night, is a ruling passion. I'm fortunate to call some of them my friends. These fellows are quiet and modest. They do not have to boast. From the expression of their eye, from the sense and sobriety of their occasional remark, comes evidence enough of their gentlemanliness. They are delicately, almost tenderly patient, as must be those who train hounds, who handle boats, who live on the strong and haughty rivers. My friends are hound men of the old school. Here we go. I first spent time with them beside their fire at a country crossroads near Ava, Missouri, more than 35 years ago. There were other good men there, some of them gone now. I asked if they caught many foxes. Son said one of them, I'd rather kill a cow than a good running fox, because then there'd be no foxes to race the dogs. The country's changing. Foxes are fewer now. It's coyotes the hounds race after today. But apart from that, all is much the same. Men still pass their nights beside the fire, listening for that moment when the race is joined. There it is, someone will say. And they step away from the fire then because they say light gets in the way of hearing. The wonderful chorus of hound voices fills the darkness as the race pours along the valley below them. And when it has passed, the night has never been so empty. <laughs> <laughs> 